Uh, the Orange Show's own Dominic D'Angelo. He helps us get this show out to the masses week after week. The big YouTube helper has a follow up to a previous question he asked you. He said, We touched on the hypothetical that you would rather work a main event program with Attitude Era Austin over the 1980s Hogan, health notwithstanding. What do you think would be an intriguing storyline for you and Stone Cold to feud over? Hmm. Now, would this be the Attitude Era Austin? Oh, yeah. You and Austin, that's who you said you'd rather work a program with. So he wants to know you and Attitude Era Austin. What would be a good, intriguing storyline for the two of you? Oh, God. You, could, you couldn't really go wrong with anything with him, right? Any no. subject, any subject matter. You could, you could go, well, and the only problem is, is people probably, I don't know that everybody's paying attention to WCW, but it, you could come from the angle. Like I helped, I helped make who you were before you even got here and you've disrespected me. I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with something, <clears throat> something about not respecting those who came before you. No, I weak? think it would have to be more direct. It okay. has to be something that that would give me a set of balls for. Yeah, you got to have even some addressing. There's been speculation over, and we all steal from each other in this business. But there's been speculation that Austin's interview style oh. came originated with me, and he took some aspects of it of course sure you know, he had his own verbiage but his pacing and his you know his cut right through the bullshit maybe if i walked out on there totally unannounced and broke busted one of his interviews and i mean totally unannounced and just what you know said something along the lines of uh you know you know and I know they might not have caught, caught on yet, but I know where you get your stick and you know where you get your stick. Yeah. Before there was Austin 316, there was Arn 316. You, son you know, of a bitch. I was saying and doing things that you do 10 years ago and approach it to where they go, whoa. I just didn't have the opportunity to smack my boss in the mouth and get away yeah, with it. Right. And that's the only advantage that you've got over me. Fight fire with fire, as the Metallica song says. You know, to point out, you know, and, and, and I have read, you know, over the years that, and I'm flattered and honored, if, if that's the case, that he stole a few things promo-wise. Yeah. For me, and maybe not. Maybe he never looked at it as that being the case. But and if it's not, it's just a strange coincidence, and that's cool too. Because I got nothing but love and respect for Steve Austin. He's a great dude, and unbelievable the path that he cut through the business, which every one of us benefited from. But I think from a storyline perspective, it it it, it plays. Where, where you're headed with that, it, it would play in terms of you could easily say that and people could, that would click for people to say, Oh, I can, I can see what aren't saying and, uh, and be able to develop something out of that. And not don't go the cheap copycat. Cause that's not what it was. It's just, Hey, yeah. You know, you and I have been up and down the road. We've had some conversations, you know, we know what we're talking about and it's always make him who he is superstar. It's not, Hey, you're a cheap copycat of me. Sure. Because that's a bullshit deal anyway. Nobody's yeah. gonna buy that, but yeah. Yeah. That might be yeah. something, Dom. Yeah, Dom. All right. 